This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Chris Converse, and I'll be speaking at this year's Creative Pro Week, and I wanted to give you a sneak peek at one of my sessions, where we'll animate vector artwork created in Illustrator inside of After Effects. Now, I'm not talking about just animating rotation or scale, but animating the properties of the vector data to make it look like the artwork is being drawn before our eyes. So I'm going to start here and show you the artwork we're going to be working with inside of Illustrator. So here I have some vector artwork for a logo. So if I come in here and change my view to outline, you can see that we're working with shapes here and some vector paths. So here I have a stroke that I can come in here and change. So what I want to do is bring this into After Effects. And don't worry if you've never used After Effects before, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to use both After Effects and Premiere at Creative Pro Week. But for this tip, I'll show you quickly how to do this inside of After Effects. So I'll start here in a blank new project. In the main composition area here, I can click on one of these two buttons. I'll click on New Composition from Footage. I'll choose the Illustrator logo on my desktop. Come down here and click Open. We're going to bring this in as footage, so click OK. And now we're going to have a brand new composition inside of After Effects. Now down here in the Timeline panel, I can see my layer. But if I come in here and open up my Transform, I could come in here and scale the position. I can scale the rotation and scaling properties. But again, this is not actually scaling the vectors itself. I am scaling vector art, but I want to get to the actual vectors of the artwork itself. So I'll undo some of that, get back to the beginning. I'll close this up. Then I'll right click on this layer and choose Create and Create Shapes from Vector Layers. That's going to give me a brand new shape layer inside of After Effects. Now After Effects does have some drawing tools. We can come up here to the top and take a look at the polygon and star tools, the ellipse tool. This allows me to come in here and create brand new shape layers by clicking and dragging. But as you already know, Illustrator has far more drawing capabilities. So let's start from artwork that we got from Illustrator. So now we have a brand new shape layer inside of After Effects. If I toggle this open, we have this group called Contents. Every piece of artwork inside of Illustrator gets converted to a content element inside of After Effects. If I come in here and turn these on and off, you can see the actual artwork that's being associated. So the top two elements here are the two parts of that vector circle that we have. So what I'm going to do is come in here, select this layer, Command and Control D to duplicate that. And in the top layer, I'm going to come in here and delete the bottom three elements, which is part of my logo type. And in the bottom one, I'll delete the top two, which is part of the circle. So I just want to animate the circle for this demo. So I'll come in here and rename this circle so my layer is named. Now what I can do is come in here and create an animation for the vectors in this shape. Now to do this, I'm going to come over here and add an animation property. I'll click Add. We'll come down and choose Trim Paths. And what this animation property allows me to do is to change the properties of those strokes as they apply to the vector artwork. I'll toggle this open. Let's come over here to the Start property. And to see what these do, just hover over the numbers and click and drag. And you can see I'm actually changing the start value for the vectors. The vectors start at the beginning of where the vector was created. So this point here for the top one and this point here for the bottom one. And I'm basically changing where that stroke starts in relation to the overall vector shape. And these can be animated. So if I wanted to create an animation, I could come in here, click on the stopwatch. First, I'll move my timeline out to about one second. I'll click the stopwatch for start. Then maybe I'll set my start to 100% so we can't see anything in the circle. I'll bring this out to, let's say, three seconds. So I'll create a two second animation. I'll come back here and change the start property back to zero. I get two keyframes on the timeline. And if I jog the timeline, we have an animation that's actually drawing the circle. So let's try something a little bit different. Let's come in here and change the start value to 50%. Let's add a keyframe for end. We'll set this one to 50%. Then when we get out to the end, we're going to leave the start value at zero and we'll set the end value to 100%. Now I have an animation that starts in the middle and moves down. And one final property you may notice is we have an offset value here. This allows me to change the overall starting and ending points of those vectors based on that offset value. So I can move those to about right here which will make the circle look as though it's being drawn from the logo type around and meeting at the top. And that's just the very beginning of what we can do with vector artwork inside of After Effects. 
Now, I'll be presenting a whole day's worth of sessions geared toward teaching creative professionals how to bring their designs to life with motion graphics and video. So for more information on Creative Pro Week, check out the links in the description below, and I hope to see you online or in person in D.C.